it might be hard to start in the moment if you're not in practice of just expressing gratitude. But when you start to realize every little thing counts, so grateful. Like sometimes I get moved to tears because I am overflowing with gratitude. <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn and welcome back to another Motivation Monday <laughs> with the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. I'm feeling good, as you can tell. I'm passing that good, good energy on to you. Oh man, listen. Well, I'm here in the States, right? So Thanksgiving is coming up very soon in a few days at the time of this recording, which just makes me think of gratitude, right? Because that's what's usually the conversation around this time of year for us. And so it makes me, of course, think of my career, makes me think of your career. And what I want to talk about today is gratitude breeds more gratitude. So I just want you to do a check-in today. And this is a reminder that you don't need a special holiday, a made-up holiday, <laughs> to, to be grateful right but sometimes we need things just to remind us and so i want you can do it today what have you let me let me rephrase that let me tell you start with this quick story actually my private clients i have a six-month mentorship program uh for actors really high touch high intensity work with me um it's my i call it it's like my inner circle of actors that i work with and whenever we have private sessions every single session starts with the same thing I say, okay, let's start with sharing celebrations because we can't build upon success we don't acknowledge. And sometimes it's challenging for some of my students to like, oh, I knew you were gonna ask this, but I'm like, well, look, it doesn't have to be career related. Just what are you grateful for? What can you celebrate? And listen, sometimes it's been a rough week and all they got is, uh, I'm breathing, thank you. Um, I ate today, okay, <laughs> right? Sometimes it is that, but that's okay. And you know, I what I'm always telling them outside of we can't build upon success we don't acknowledge. Also, I want you to remember that gratitude breeds more gratitude. When you really take the time to be like, oh, I'm so grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the love in my life. I'm grateful for power. I'm grateful for lights. I'm grateful for my, a working refrigerator. I'm a greedy girl. I like to eat. So <laughs> I'm always talking about food, right? But like, just, you can go on and on and on. And what that does, not only does it shift your whole insides, right? It shifts the whole energy and particles and everything going on in you. There's just good energy flowing that you'll find that it's hard to stop. You will find that it is hard to stop. It might be hard to start in the moment if you're not in practice of just expressing gratitude. But when you start to realize every little thing counts, so grateful. Like sometimes I get moved to tears because I am overflowing with gratitude. And it's a wonderful exercise, especially if you might find yourself in a bit of a funk or, you know, as we move into holidays, you know, it can also bring up a lot of stuff for people. If you've had recent loss or, you know, it's easy to only think about the negative. And look, I'm not saying the negative didn't happen and didn't affect you, but even within being in the storm, we can find things to be grateful for. We're still here. What can we be grateful for? You might just be grateful for the butterfly that you saw today because it made you smile. You might be grateful for the, the TikTok video you watched that made you laugh out loud for the first time in months. So I wanna challenge you to just start expressing the gratitude. And I personally, this is just my, suggestion you can eat the fish spit out the bones you know me write them down or say them aloud because i find that they have more power because it's like more energy even just like affirmations like there's more power in saying them out loud with feeling so that you can hear your own voice saying them and if you want to really take it to another level you can get your phone get a voice note and say them out loud and you can play that throughout the day and remind yourself of how grateful you are because trust me, it's really hard to be grateful and then like be sad. It's really hard to be grateful and, and not pass that energy on. Now granted, we are all have stuff that we are going through and growing through, but just today, if nothing else, when this podcast is done, make, make yourself just start out loud saying at least 10 things you're grateful for. And you may not want to stop and that's okay. And then this can become a daily habit not a random uh, sporadic monthly habit or only when it's holidays. Like just being in an attitude of gratitude and understanding that being grateful only breeds more things to be grateful for. It is, it's, it's a magical, it is magical. And I'm telling you, there have been times where I'm, 
having a rough day or just, you know, just, you know, in the funk, you know, it happens. And that's usually the first thing I do. I play music and I express gratitude because even in the thick of it, I understand it could be worse. And I also understand that it could be, it, it is worse for a lot of other people. And boy, does that instantly change my perspective. It doesn't make what I'm going through insignificant. It's still important to me, but it just changes the perspective. And that's what I'm always aiming to do in life. That's what gets me through. That's why my mindset work is so important. And I hope it is to you. All right, so you have your charge for the day. What can you be grateful for? Just start understanding that gratitude breeds more gratitude. It's hard to only say one thing because you'd be like, well, that can't be the only thing I'm grateful for. Well, no, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm dancing, right? Um, anyway, that's all I got for this week. Sit in that gratitude, express it, let it fuel you, let it flood you just the amount of gratitude that you have for just any little thing. I don't care how small and insignificant it might seem to others. You can be grateful for it today. All right, make sure you connect with me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn. And if you're looking for coaching, if you are an actor who wants to book more TV, if you are an actor who wants to book more, get more confidence, crush your auditions, and you ain't working with me yet, what's up? Come on, come on over to Hollywood Bound Actors and see what good do we got for you because I can help you. And I say that with full confidence because I've helped hundreds of actors do the same. And I would love to be on your journey and help you also. All right, see you next week. Bye.